Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to remember the electromagnetic spectrum. We can come up with a mnemonic for the electromagnetic spectrum, but first let's study some of the basic properties. So here I have a discretized spectrum for the electromagnetic radiation, and I'm going to be going from left to right in increasing the frequency, which I'll denote by the Greek letter nu. The speed of light, of course, is always constant, so we can describe the speed of light as the wavelength of the photon, or the electromagnetic radiation, times that linear frequency nu. So if this is constant, then as we move left to right, as we increase the frequency, the wavelength must decrease. So there are various types of photons and types of electromagnetic radiation, and these depend on the source, how the light is generated. Over on the left-hand side, we're going to have the type of electromagnetic radiation that has the smallest frequency and hence the largest wavelength. These are radio waves, which I'll denote as R. As we increase the frequency, we'll move into the region of microwave radiation. Next comes infrared. Next comes the visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, for which there is a mnemonic that most children learn, known as Roy G. Biv. These are the different colors that one would observe in a rainbow. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And this is going in the order, again, of increasing frequency, or in other words, decreasing wavelength. Next, we have ultraviolet radiation, denoted by the letter U. Next, we have X-rays, which have a much higher frequency. And finally, we have gamma radiation, which I'll denote with G. So, we already have a mnemonic in place for the visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, and there are many acronyms and mnemonics that one could come up with to study and remember the entirety of the electromagnetic spectrum. So here's one example. So we would say, rabbits mate in very unusually expensive gardens. So the R in rabbits would correspond to radio waves. The M in mate would correspond to microwaves. The I in the word in would correspond to infrared. The V in very would correspond to the visible portion. Un the U in unusual would correspond to the ultraviolet radiation. And then the X in expensive would correspond to the X-rays. And finally, the G in gardens would correspond to the most energetic type of electromagnetic radiation, the gamma rays. So there you have it. Rabbits mate in very unusual expensive gardens. So if you rem remember and uh, memorize this little mnemonic, then you can remember the ordering of the electromagnetic spectrum, which goes from low frequency to high frequency, or in other words, from high wavelength to low wavelength due to the fact that the speed of light is always constant. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is How to Remember the Electromagnetic Spectrum.